In your first alert forecast this morning is when we have the scattered rain and storms. Kids standing around at the bus stop remind them if they hear that rumble of thunder. They want to make sure they're inside, inside of a vehicle or a home. But we have that early rain for you this morning. That'll take us down to the mid 60s, mid to late morning, even a little later, some closer to 9 a.m. based on this timing, because when we look at it in your forecast for today, you can see it's scattered around 7 a.m. through noon. A really mix of sun and clouds this afternoon and a Good warm afternoon, not as windy. The 40 mile per hour gusts are early gusts will be closer to 20 25 miles per hour and decreasing this afternoon with that decreasing cloud cover and rain. Everything drops off except for the temperature that'll be dropping tomorrow. So over the next couple of hours, we continue with these spots of rain could get a stray rumble of thunder to pop up that leading edge and drifting across more of Fentress County to McCurry to Whitley County then around six with these pop ups out ahead of it in the valley to foothills and mountains 7 a.m. It's a string of some rain across the plateau to the Tennessee Kentucky line and starting to line up a bit here with those developing pockets of rain around McMinn and Monroe up into the mountains by 9 a.m. Then that's where we get a few pockets of that back edge of rain drifting through the valley, line it up together at the foothills to the mountains at 10 to 11 a.m. Spotty by midday and then the mix of sun and clouds this afternoon. So in that rain forecast where you live, that does mean that the best pool up of rain is really along that north plateau and then dropping. But we get a couple of streaks here. Remember with a 40% coverage, that means some see zero rain. Others get this little spike up to a tenth quarter. You see this little bright streak coming across parts of Cumberland, parts of Roan, Anderson, Knox. So just kind of streaks across parts of town. Then that pool up of a half an inch or so along Wayne County to southeastern Kentucky and lighter far northeast Tennessee. A few pockets of rain adding up in your rain gauge at home. This does ultimately add up to a cooler day tomorrow with spotty showers in the morning. We'll go ahead and have some rain developing lots of clouds. We are seeing a little bit of a lift up to some scattered rain tomorrow afternoon. So that is an important update there for you to catch, especially the valley and south for your Friday, a cooler day with the scattered rain at that. So that'll be 50 degrees in the morning, which obviously compared to normal, not bad at all, but this is where we're catching back up to normal limited warming 53 8 to 9 57 1 to 2 58 in the afternoon so just got a baby stepping up all day long and then we have even more rain spreading out Friday night into Saturday morning. Notice by midday to afternoon, though, at least that coverage is decreasing in terms of your Saturday. We'll get back to some spotty showers, uh, but we are seeing a few more showers now come into our area for Sunday. So catching some of that rain along the Tennessee Kentucky line in the morning becomes a little lighter midday, but still some scattered rain throughout the afternoon. So that gives us some more on and off rain the next few days. Temperature still in the 50s until Sunday. That's some warm air lifting up with that scattered batch of rain as well, and then that clashes with the next cold front, so that'll give us some gustier rain and storms Monday afternoon.